in New Braunfels, Texas, listening on 88.9, excuse me, 89.7 FM. Joey, why are you pro-choice? Hey, how's it going? Uh, well, I think we are in this discussion I'm listening to, and I jumped in kind of late into the discussion, so I'm assuming this is regarding the whole Roe versus Wade reversal. And um, I think the real question here is, is there a difference between legality and morality? And uh, morally, I, I don't think any of us want, you know, are okay with abortion, and it, it seems like it wouldn't be great. But um, it's, I'm sure you guys have heard this comparison before, but, you know, if I was on a diet, I wouldn't tell someone else they can't eat donuts because of my diet. Um, so my beliefs are my beliefs, and I don't think that my beliefs should be pushed on others through the state. And I would hope your listeners and you guys as well can really understand what I mean by that because of the fact that just because I find something wrong, I mean, war, you know, we all are accept, oh, we accept war for what it is, the good and the bad, and, uh, and people don't rally behind that, you know, stop sending people to war because they kill, mm-hmm. but people just accept it for what it is. And um, I think with abortion, Mm -hmm. it comes down to the same thing is just because I find it morally wrong does not mean I have the place to tell others that the government can enforce my beliefs on them. All right. Well, let me let Joey, let me address both of your points and then maybe we can have a little back and forth. First, when it comes to war, I think it's perfectly within people's rights to protest and make their voices heard that a government that they belong to. Uh, should not engage in a war that they believe to be unjust, or even one that's just not practical, that is causing harm and has has very little, if any, benefit. If someone believes a war is unjust, I think they have a moral obligation to protest and do what is what is feasible, uh, what is possible for them. I mean, who knows? If they live in a totalitarian dictatorship, it may not be prudent for them to protest an unjust war because all that will happen is they will end up getting killed and there will be no positive benefit to it. But if someone believes that a war is unjust, let's say in the United States, I I think they would have a moral obligation to make that known, especially if the war is, for example, directly targeting innocent civilians like children, for example. Uh, To bring your other point with donuts, uh, yeah, I would agree with you that, you know, if if I I mean, I'm not a big fan of maple bars, for example. I don't particularly care for them, but I'm not going to outlaw maple bars for everybody. You like them. That's fine. But let's say there was a donut that tastes really, really good for adults, you know, just amazing, the creme de la creme donut. But it turns out this donut uh, kills 20% of children who eat it. And some parents still feed their kids this donut, and there's lots of kids who are dying from this donut. Well, do you think maybe we should make it illegal for those parents to give their kids this lethal donut? What do you think of that argument? Oh, the donut, yes, I would uh, completely agree. Um, If you had a donut that killed 20% of the kids... Sure. And so and then to extend the argument, then if you have a medical procedure that kills 100 percent of children who are involved, maybe we should make that illegal. And and that would extend the argument completely to abortion. See where I'm going? I see where you're going with it. I that's right. I figured you were going with it. Um, Mm. But I just I feel like even with the last gentleman that was talking when you tried making the point about the boat, Mm -hmm. there's a level of logic that's got to be brought into this conversation that um, when you're trying to make a point, you can kind of ignore and push to the side. Mm -hmm. But we as humans, uh, we do have logic and we're capable of using it. And there is a huge difference between, um, you know, getting pregnant and saying, I don't want a baby and taking someone out on a boat and then saying, hey, I don't want you on the boat. I think I think realistically, at the end of the day, you can see that difference and you acknowledge it. For the fact of debate, I, I could see why you wouldn't, but well, overall, I think... Well, Joey, let's, well, let's talk about it, because Marcos didn't want to. He just said, well, you're unintelligent if you don't see that. I see there is a difference there. I'll agree with you there is a difference, in that in pregnancy, anything involving the body is going to have more of an intimate interaction. It'll have more immediate physical burdens. Uh, but at the same time, I could change my boat example up to, show that, you know, we consider pregnancy, like if I spend two hours on in a harbor with Cy Kellett, the burdens that I, I'm sorry, Cy, I have to do this again. If I spend two hours on in the harbor with Cy, and San Diego is a pleasant place anyways, I haven't incurred that much of a burden to let you be on my boat. Whereas in pregnancy, I'll agree with you, there are higher burdens. A woman uh, gains weight, experiences nausea, pain, swelling, uh, you know, lots of, there are lots of other things that in pregnancy you feel more of a physical burden. Uh, but I could change the example. Let's say we're cruising the harbor and we end up out at sea because of a storm, and it's Cy and I on a boat with limited supplies, 
and uh, I'm really hungry and I'm thirsty and I'm really suffering here. And I think I'll be, you know, odds are I'll, I'll be rescued. At least I have a greater chance of being rescued if I just push Sai overboard and I keep the supplies for myself. Now, in that case, I think you would agree, even if I'm like at the point of like dying, I'm in a really desperate situation. Do you think I should kill Sai? Oh, man, you're crazy if you don't push Sai overboard in that case. Really? I, I would I would complete. Yeah, if, if it comes down to my life on a boat with supplies for one person, um, um, I, th- I think that would kind of be a easy answer for myself. And uh, well, I will. I will. That's a very. I right? Will, right, right, right. Well, I will. I will tell you this: there was a uh, R versus Dudley and Stevens uh, is a, a British criminal case dealing with this. Uh, I, I think it, yeah, I think this is right. Th- this is it. So it says that, uh, th- here's what's really weird about this case. Uh, Dudley and Stevens were shipwrecked with two other men. And one of them was a cabin boy named Richard Parker who fell into a coma and they were worried they were going to starve to death. Uh, so Dudley and Stevens killed Parker to eat him. And later they were rescued, but the British courts actually found him guilty, found them guilty of murder and their attorneys, their legal counsel, put forward an argument, uh, it was an argument of defense based on necessity. And the court ruled that necessity is not a defense for murder, actually. (laughs) That is still wrong. And I think most of you really do think about it. It is wrong to murder someone, even if you need to do that to save your life. Now, it's different killing someone who's trying to kill you, like in self-defense, that's one thing. But just murdering somebody so that you have a greater chance of living, um, even the courts have seen that that's wrong. Oh, and a crazy coincidence here. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe wrote a similar story before this, Sai, about people who were shipwrecked and they ate the cabin boy. Guess who the cabin boy's name was in the Poe story? What? Richard Parker. Oh, weird. The same name. (laughs) So it's... (laughs) But in any case... What's up with Edgar Allan Poe? That guy. That's that's a a good bumper sticker. That's actually creepy. Uh, (laughs) Right. So, so Joey, just just to to bring it all back, I'm not trying to be flippant about the differences here. But I do think that when we we sit down and we do think about it morally, uh, the differences are not big enough. They're not morally relevant enough to justify that even while pregnancy is more intimately involved in the body and people incur greater burdens when they're pregnant, that does not justify directly killing another human being in order to not have to endure those burdens And also, I would say that most abortions are not motivated by the desire to not be pregnant. That's another point that a lot of people fail to miss, and that changes the morality of the the issue a little bit. Because I would say 9 out of 10, at least 90% of pregnant women who go into an abortion provider, imagine it's 50 or 100 years from now, and the abortionist says, uh, okay, we got two abortion procedures. Both of them will make you not pregnant anymore, uh, but procedure A causes the child to die, procedure B puts him into an artificial womb and you can have him back in nine months. I think most people who want abortion, they don't want the child to return into their life in another nine months. The reason they want an abortion is because they don't want to ever be a parent. They don't want to have this child be around. And so I think that makes it very, very different than if I choose to not give my bone marrow to Sai, if I choose to not let Sai use my body and he's dying, I know, I know, I did it again, I don't – that if I choose to not give you my bone marrow, Cy, and you live, you mm. miraculously recover from your cancer, I would celebrate. But you'd never be on this show again. I know. It might be awkward between us a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but I'd still be happy. I would be happy. I would much prefer you to be alive and mad at me than, than dead and gone. Thank you. Because I care for you, Cy. No matter how many thought experiments you meet your demise in. However, uh, so – but if I – saying I don't want to give – you know, I, I take an action – that kills you with that intent, it's very, very different. And I think abortion falls uh, into that category. So, uh, so Joy, I hope that's a helpful summary. And I cover that a little bit more in Chapter 8 of my book, Persuasive Pro-Life.